grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all on this Sunday after Ascension. Hail the day that sees him rise to his throne above the skies. Christ the Lamb for sinners slain enters now the highest heaven. There for him high triumph waits. Lift your heads, eternal gates. He hath conquered death and sin. Take the King of glory in. Come to us this night, O God. Come to us with light. Come to us this night, O God, and speak to us your truth. Dwell with us this night, O God, and dwell with us in love. Thanks be to you, O Christ, for the many gifts you have bestowed on us. Each day and night, each sea and land, each weather fair, each calm, each wild. Each night, may we remember your mercy, given so gently and generously. Everything we have received, from you it came. Everything for which we hope, from your love it will come. Everything we enjoy, it is of your bounty. Everything that we ask comes of your disposing. O God, from whom each thing that is freely flows, we praise and thank you, continually offering our lives in your service. Amen. In silence we confess our faults and admit our frailty. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned in thought and word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our fellow men and women. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Hear now the words of Jesus for all who are truly sorry and seek to renew their lives. He said, your sins are forgiven. Go in peace. Come and follow me. Lead us now, O God, to acknowledge your costly generosity by living as forgiven people until heaven and earth rejoice and the whole earth cries glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O oh God, as these words of scripture are read in our hearts, may we feel your presence. Verses from Psalm 8. Lord, our Sovereign, how glorious is your name throughout the world. Your majesty is praised as high as the heavens, from the mouths of babes and infants at the breast. When I look up at the heavens, the work of your fingers, at the moon and the stars you have set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him? a human being that you should take notice of him. O Lord, our Lord, how great is your name in all the earth. A reading from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of St John. Jesus said to the disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. 
there are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus replied, I am the way, the truth and the life. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God around us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Jesus said, you know the way to the place where I am going. Jesus came, Jesus lived, Jesus died and rose, and then Jesus left us. Bethlehem to Nazareth, to Jerusalem, to Bethany, stable to carpenter's shop, from lake and wayside to Calvary, to a garden at dawn, the Emmaus Road, a beach in Galilee, and then and then to the place of ascension. From the song of angels hymning an infant Jesus to the shining whiteness of angels directing the disciples' gaze to Jesus in glory. A journey from humility to glory. Ascension Day may better be called Glorification Day, the day when Jesus demonstrated that heaven's glory is very near indeed, not up above the clouds, but available in the here and now. Traditionally, there is heaven and there is earth. Are they up, down, or all mixed together, heaven and earth. Ascension is about ascending, but how helpful is vertical thinking in these post-Copernicus and post-Galileo centuries? Well, even in the mid-19th century, we were singing of up for heaven and down for earth. Listen. Once in Royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed. He came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all. Not in that poor lowly stable with the oxen standing by, we shall see him, but in heaven, set at God's right hand on high. He came down. We shall see him, set at God's right hand on high. And then there's Charles Wesley's nod towards the second coming. Lo, he comes with clouds descending, descending. The imagery associated with the Feast of the Ascension is perhaps difficult for 21st century you and me soaked as we are in the reality of Yuri Gagarin, Cape Canaveral, the International Space Station. One of the little side chapels in the Anglican shrine at Walsingham, the chapel of the Ascension, displays to the pilgrim's lifted eyes a wooden carving of a pair of feet dangling from the base of a wooden cloud. Literalism in wood carving taken to a startling degree. There are two spheres of existence. Earth, the finite world, and heaven, 
the land of eternity. Jesus is the bridge between the two, he who crossed the divide, who demonstrated that there is no divide, really. Jesus brought heaven to earth and fills every second of our earthly living with heaven, which is the glory of God. The revival hymn says it, heaven came down and glory filled my soul when at the cross the Saviour made me whole. What, where is the way from earth to heaven and the way from heaven to earth? Yes, there is the bizarre Jacob's Ladder imagery from the book of Genesis with the angels of the Lord moving up and down as on an escalator in Selfridges, but this doesn't stand up to critical assessment and ready acceptance in these oh-so-scientific times, does it? No. In the thinking about access to the realms of God, the exchange between our Lord and doubting Thomas distills the essence. Jesus said to the disciples at the Last Supper, you know the way to the place where I am going. And Thomas, good old Thomas, God bless him, said, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way. No need for a ladder or enveloping cloud. Stay close to Jesus of Nazareth and he will show us the way to the presence of God. This pretty well sums up the promise of the Christian faith. Another revival hymn. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. Jesus came from and passed to glory. At ascension, the circle is closed. The two spheres merge into one another. His resurrection was mighty. His ascension was glorious. By the events of his coming, his living alongside mankind and his departing, we know that Jesus was of the earth. By the fact of his continual presence with us, we know the overlap of heaven and earth. There is no up, no down, no here, no there. Though he comes with clouds descending, yes, says that hymn that forecasts his second coming, but be that as it may, set aside the, the great imponderable and sing rather, to God be the glory, great things he has done. And the greatest of these is that huge act of outpouring of divine love, which was and is the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus risen, ascended, glorified. Amen. Let us pray. O Christ, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love to our neighbour, to our foes, to our friends, to our kindred all. O Christ, of the poor and the yearning, from the humblest thing that lives to the name that is highest above all, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love. We place our souls and our bodies under your guarding this night, O Christ. 
O sun of the tears, of the wounds, of the piercings, may your cross this night be shielding all. Amen. On our hearts and in our houses, the blessing of God. In our coming and our going, the peace of God. In our life and our believing, the love of God. At our end and our beginning, the arms of God to welcome us and bring us home. Be the great God between your shoulders to protect you in your going and coming. Be the son of Mary near your heart and be the perfect spirit upon you pouring. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen.